my name is Nick. Welcome to Mesa Elite. This is my uh, hex that I've been working on. It's approximately supposed to be a 250 size. I'm running uh, the Cobra 2204s, right? Um, and they are they're 250 motors, but this is really more of a 300 size quad. The uh, I kind of started with the basic main frame here. I was going to make it all out of wood. And then I found these carb carbon tubes for like 20 bucks, and they're they're awesome. They're like they're super light. Um, they're super easy to cut. They're really strong. Um, so I had to use those. So I took the main frame, based the main frame out of wood, and I got rid of the original wood arms, and I uh, basically made two of them so that it's like a sandwich. Then I designed a 3D printed mount that goes right in the middle there. You can see kind of a better view out back there on the CAD and the uh, what are we gonna say slide the carbon arms right into the 3D printed mounts and then I would screw take just a simple I don't remember what size screw they are I think they're a size 4 3 8 7 inch and you just screw it right in the carbon arms the uh, 3D printed mount is slightly smaller than the arms so that it's also got a little bit of friction holding it in there so that if I lose a screw during flight I'm not gonna lose an arm um, I'm running six 12 amp BSCs. You can kind of see them in the side there. Or if I flip it over, you can see the little green in there. There, uh, it was a pain to wire this. I think I counted with my mom. There's like 72 wires in here, maybe even more, from all the mount, all the ESCs, and then my uh, harness for the battery. Running a uh, 2200 3S. It's a little underpowered with this because it pulls pretty close to 75 amps on a full out punch out, so I can't really get full throttle. It uh, still works though because it, it's still got plenty of throttle because these motors have a lot of power even at like a little half stick. Um, we've got the KK Mini. The KK Mini really doesn't like hexes, but with quite a bit of tuning I got it flying pretty well. It still has some strange tendencies, but it still flies really smoothly. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I have on here. These are the Gemfan 5304 props, 5030, and they're the uh, 5x4s. They fly really nicely. I like these because I can't break them. I've crashed these two front ones on two different quads like three times, and I can't break them. Um, and one of the biggest challenges with designing this and I'm really excited with the way it turned out was making sure the motors, the props don't strike during flight because if you look closely if these arms are too short or these angles between here and here are off the motors, the props will strike which I've striked uh, helicopter blades and tail blades before and that really sucks so I'm excited about this because that worked out and I'm not having any prop strikes and still got a little gap if you want to run a slightly bigger prop not not very much bigger, but um, I'm hoping with this to maybe finalize the plans. Maybe uh, we can give away, not give away, we can have the plans up on the website for the main frame and the 3D printed mounts, the SDL files, and then we can probably put up the link for the arms. Oh, I also missed this. There's a, uh, there's a little 3D printed uh, spacer inside these arms. The motors will, uh, I have screws from the motor mounts and they screw right into the 3D printed mounts and the carbon arm so that I have more bite in the screw than the car just the carbon arm. Um, I designed a little aluminum quad that j I just fit into the aluminum arms and those ripped out so I had to try some 3D printed mounts to toss a screw into and it's turned out really strong. I uh, crashed this into a bush once and I, nothing came loose so it's still really rigid. Um, I think we're ready to go fly now.
guys, thanks for watching. This is my uh, hex, and we'll make the plans available so that you can download them and print off the mounts and cut out your frame and have a lot of fun with this. Thanks.